Hi, do you know how long it's been since I've been trying to get my hands on just freaking egg? All this time I've been eating um, Follow Your Heart's vegan egg substitute. Um, and every time I go to the store, this guy is out. So the other day I went to Whole Foods and this was there on sale for like $3.99. So I bought it. And what I'm doing today for you friends is I'm reviewing it for you. Just Egg is a vegan uh, egg alternative. I've already actually tasted it, it's delicious, but I wanna try something. So the serving of Just Egg is three tablespoons grams of protein, which if you think of that serving, it's not very big. So today I'm gonna test how I can create more volume for the same macros, sort of, as much as possible. Hey guys, if you don't know me, my name is Gia. I'm the creator of Don't Well. I make protein, cinnamon rolls, and bread. And I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. So here's a closer look of the bottle. Just egg. There's the macros. I'm gonna weigh out 44 grams of this guy and I'll show you what it looks like. But basically it looks like just a... Okay, I can't show you because I have a problem here. Finally opened it. But it looks like this, that's when you open it and you have to make sure to shake it really well because it does separate. So 44 grams looks like this much, which is not that much. I've already had this pan preheating to just under medium heat. I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil. I think this is avocado oil, just a little bit to make sure it doesn't stick. Smush that around with my spatula. Now I'm going to take this guy and... Can you see how tiny that is? Just like you do with normal scrambled egg, you wait for a couple of seconds for it to cook and then you move it around, smash it up. That took absolutely no time at all and this is the serving that I get for 5 grams of fat, 5 grams of protein, which is good on the protein, and 1 gram of fat. For the sake of comparison, this is the size of my fork and the egg. Now what I'm gonna do, and I haven't tried this before, so let's hope it just works. I'm going to try and create more volume with using xanthan gum. Xanthan gum is a thickener that's actually found in a lot of food products. It's natural, it is um, one half a teaspoon for one gram of carbs. Um, and, and yeah, it is vegan. I got this guy off of Amazon. I'll put the in the link in the description box below. And by the way, if you like these kind of videos, hit that like button. Um, let me know that I should keep doing these. But basically what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use 44 grams of the Just Egg, add a bit more water, and then also add the Xanthan gum. I'm gonna do half a teaspoon. Let's see how that works out. I have my 44 grams of Just Egg in this bowl. I'm going to go ahead and put, mm, let me start with water. I'm gonna try with a third cup of water. Again, I've never tried this before, so let's hope I do the ratios correctly. I'm just going to be a gut feel. Here's approximately a third cup of water going into the Just Egg. Now I'm going to use half a teaspoon of the Xanthan gum. And just sprinkle it in there. And you guys will see what I mean by thickener. You can, I, I tried mixing it with a fork, but you can see the little clumps of xanthan gum, so I'm gonna just use this guy and try to mix it even more. You guys can already see it's already getting a little bit thicker. I've kept my pan at the same heat. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a fair game and spritz it with a little bit of oil like I did the last time. Just a smidge, make sure there's no stickage. Now I'm going to just go ahead and pour this mixture. Into the pan. 
you can see it's already filling up the entire pan. The other one with just egg only didn't fill the pan up very much. What I'm finding is it is taking more time to cook and I don't even know if it'll cook okay. But let's just give it a whirl, shall we? 10 days later. Well, that's failing. It's not really cooking through. It's actually staying sort of like a really wet scramble. So for the sake of comparison, this is what it looks like. Just egg with just egg. <laughs> just egg with a third cup of water and a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum. And you can see based on the fork size, just how big the servings are. Uh, this is five grams of fat, five grams of protein, one gram of carbs. This is five grams of fat, five grams of protein, two grams of carbs. This is the difference in texture, guys. Versus. So if you like really soft and sort of runny, kind of not put together egg, by all means do this. You get a little bit more volume. Is it worth it? I don't know. You guys figure it out. See if you even like it this way. But I actually haven't tried this, so I'm going to give this a a, a test and I'm not putting any seasoning on it se se seasoning on it just to give you my true opinion of how it tastes so just egg by itself I just freaking bomb it's not it's been a few years since I've eaten actual eggs it's not exactly like egg but it's the closest thing to texture of egg and it tastes freaking amazing um, and you get to and I actually made my husband a scramble with this uh, the other day with Beyond Meat crumbles and the ground crumbles and ground Beyond Meat plant ground, you know what I mean. And that was actually pretty delicious. So this by itself is actually super good. And here's the other one. And maybe you guys can try this with a little bit less water. Maybe it'll actually work out. Who knows? But is it even worth the volume size for, I don't know, you try. Preferences. Everybody has preferences. But I actually find that if you let it sit and wait and sort of cool down, it does get a bit firmer. Not as firm, obviously, as the other one. But this is, again, the one with a third cup of water and a half teaspoon of xanthan gum. You can see it actually does hold structure. Taste test. You know, it's not bad. Obviously, it's a lot less flavorful, a little bit less flavorful than this one because I've watered it down, but that's nothing a little salt can fix, but I purposely didn't season it because I wanted to taste it as is. So that's my review for Just Egg, guys. I still really like the product. Of course, if I was preparing for a bodybuilding show, would Just Egg be on my list of things to eat? Um, maybe not very frequently, just because of the high amount of fat. Um, but I may even, you know, use the xanthan gum approach if I wanted to have more volume, a little bit more volume. Is it worth it? Yeah, freaking yeah, man. Um, what do I think about it with comparison to follow your heart, a uh, vegan egg version? Flavor, texture, ease of cooking, just egg. Hands down. Volume follow your heart so it depends on what you want do you want volume or do you want texture and flavor and follow your heart you can also just spice it up however you want or here's a grand idea maybe we mix both follow your heart with just egg in a bowl and cooked on a pan <laughs> have you tried just egg before put it in the comments below i want to know what you did i want to know if you like it be honest let me know <laughs> okay guys Thank you for spending time with me today to figure out if Just Egg is delicious or not. And it is. It freaking is. Hit that like button, guys, if you really like this video. And if you want to see more content from this mug, hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. Ding, 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 ding every time this baby gorilla posts a video. Alright, guys. See you.